All right, we are back answering your tax related questions. All right, Ryan, these are two very similar questions. I'm a 64 year old widow. Do I file a single or head of household? And this other one says my husband passed away in 2023. How do I file? So if your husband passed away in 2023, you're able to file uh, as married filing jointly during that year. However, in 2024, unless you have a dependent, you will be filing a single. Okay, single, not head of household, unless? Unless you have a dependent child in the house. Okay, uh, Kevin, if you're unemployed, can you file your two kids' own taxes as dependents? Uh, if you not, if you're unemployed, you're not having any income. So it's kind of hard to, to really, I doubt you would get much back, to be honest with you. Okay. And claim them. Ryan, this person says, what if you mail your return in before the 29th? Mail is the operative word. Hey, look, there's, there's nothing like not procrastinating. So yes, you can go ahead and mail it in right now. The IRS will just hold it until they decide to start processing tax returns on the 29th. Okay. I know they just said mail. Do you suggest people mail their taxes in? That is not a suggested method. E-file is the suggested method to file because you will get your refund back a lot faster via e-file. Mm -hmm. All right, Kevin, what is the difference between filing head of household versus filing single? Well, one of the main differences is head of household has a higher standard deduction. And with, with head of household, you've got to have qualifying dependents uh, versus being single. So you get a higher standard deduction and maybe a few more breaks and you've got, you know, um, dependents and you've got some possible credits there that you don't have when you're single. Okay, so you have to have dependents to do head of household. Gotcha. Yes. All right, Ryan, um, they've been trying to get in touch with the IRS for months. The IRS says they owe last year's taxes, but this person says they have proof that they paid them. What should they do? I've tried sending it to them and the post office sent my paperwork back because they tore the envelope open. Oh, oh they sent it back because the envelope was open. Oh, wow. So uh, look, if you have proof that you mailed it, in time, that is absolutely great. And if you send it to the IRS, uh, if the IRS has cashed that check, then by all means, take proof of that check that it was cashed. Uh, if you're having challenges with the uh, doing it over the phone and it can't really get through, remember there's always an IRS office in Greensboro that you can make an appointment with who can help resolve those issues with a live person. Okay. Kevin, this is kind of a couple of things together. Can we get an energy credit on our taxes if we install a home standby generator? We got a new roof and an energy efficient dishwasher. Are we eligible for the credit? I think for all of those those questions, Tanya, I would suggest go to energystar.gov and, and kind of put in what they have installed to make sure that it reconciles with Energy Star Gov that it qualifies. And if it qualifies, then yes, they very well could get the credit. Okay, again, you gotta put in that energy star to see if that even pulls up. Uh, yes. All right, Ryan, this person says, if you get money from a life insurance company and they say it's a loan, do you have to pay taxes on it? In general, no. If it is a loan from your life insurance policy, that is a loan that you have to repay. So that is not considered income to you when you receive it. Okay. Kevin, this person says, I received a CD from a deceased relative. I'm 71 and on Social Security. Is that CD considered income? The CD itself, Tanya, is not income, but when that CD matures and interest pays out, then the interest itself would be income and they would get a 1099-INT for that. Okay, so they need to do what? I mean, pretty much set, set tight until, until it matures. If it matures this year, the, the interest matures, then the interest paid on that CD to them is taxable, but not the CD itself. Okay. Uh, Ryan, this person says, we have guardianship of our child. She's on SSI, but works about 15 hours a week. We've always claimed her as a dependent. She will have to fill out her taxes. What is the best way for us to file? We are a married couple who has always filed jointly. So if the child was placed with you with an agency or so forth, you should be able to claim that child as a dependent on your tax return. Um, it, it, it all really depends upon how the kid, how the child was placed there. So uh, if, if you're just picking up a family friend, and then it also depends upon how long the child has been a member of your household. So dependency can get rather complicated because there's a lot of tests that have to be met. So if you have any questions, I would suggest seeking the help of a professional. Mm -hmm. Kevin, this person says, if you get money from your car insurance company or your home insurance company for, for something from our claim, is that considered income? No. 
No, and then, and also from a life insurance company for a death benefit paid out and you're the beneficiary, that's not income. So. Okay, Ryan, uh, this person says, can my son file me, uh, his mother on his tax return? We live in the same house. Yes, you can claim your parents on your tax on your tax return. Uh, typically, that will qualify you for the head of household status, which means you get a higher standard deduction, lower tax rates, and so forth. And I see that happen quite a lot, especially when you have elderly parents where the child is taking care of that parent. Okay, and I took some money out of my 401k, I paid taxes on it, am I still going to pay a penalty, Kevin? 30 seconds. Um, basically, if they took it out under age 59 and a half, they could pay a penalty on early withdrawal penalty, yes. Yeah, huh. okay, you gotta be looking at that for sure. All right, thank you for your time and expertise. We could probably spend an hour here talking about taxes. We'll have them on again so that you can get your questions answered. If you missed anything, you can go to the two wants to know section.